I'm gonna start pop locking. <laughs> I'm going to introduce uh, Nikki. Thanks for joining me today. So I invited you here to talk about the abbreviations that Tutor ABC has. There's so many. I and know. I have a list put together, but what are some of the main abbreviations that you think newbies should know about? I mean, first of all, they need to know Reg 45. Okay. That's like the basic, the most basic um, abbreviation because um, when you start a tutor ABC, you're going to yeah. be um, under probation okay. for three months. And this is what you're going to be doing. You're going to be teaching a group, group setting, like adult, um, adult classes, and that is Reg 45. So that, okay. is, that is a regular 45 minutes. Okay. We have Reg 25 as well. Okay. So um, Reg 25, um, usually it's Reg 25 juniors. You also have Reg 25 adults, but it's very rare. Right. Um, I've had, um, I think back back in April, no, back in March when I first started. Um, so I, I was teaching Reg 30 junior, mm -hmm. but sometimes I would also get Reg 30 adults. Okay. But it pays a little bit lower. <laughs> Okay. It pays lower, but it's very rare. Yeah. Now, for Reg 25 juniors, the format is pretty similar to Super Junior. The pay is um, exactly the same. But it's just that for Reg 25, um, you don't have to be necessarily invited to Super Junior for you to be able to teach um, that specific class. Okay. But, however, okay, um, <laughs> it's hard to get those classes if you don't have a high rating. Okay. And, and basically, the scheduler gives you the Reg 25. Right, so if they right. feel like giving you Reg 25, you know, for that day, they will. But if they don't feel like giving you Reg 25, they'll give you Reg 45. Right. But of course, I prefer Reg 25 because it's one-on-one. -on -one, it pays more. It's not stressful. Yeah. Um, you can you can ask the scheduler, but, um, you know, again, it's better to do uh, Super Junior because the parents pick you as their okay. kid's um, consultant. Okay. At, at Reg 25, it's assigned to you by the scheduler. Okay, so, so the difference in Super Junior, are those all 25 minutes too? All 25 minutes, okay. yeah, it's all 25 minutes, but it's the but the parents uh, pick you as their kid's teacher. Right, right, that's the main in difference. In 25, it's also 25 minutes, it's also one-on-one, -on -one, but again, the schedulers um, assign you to that specific student. Got it, okay. <laughs> Let me clear my throat. <laughs> some consultants they're able to basically provide all the the things that they need to be done with their probation in like a month mm -hmm. so you're gonna get invited to teach junior classes right junior classes you'll start with group group junior classes okay and then after usually after a hundred classes they'll invite you to start teaching super junior mm -hmm. okay so the pay for uh, super junior is basically um the base rate so it's your base rate plus 70 uh 75 percent base rate okay okay and then after after teaching a certain amount of classes in super junior program they're going to invite you to teach um oup okay but then again, there are exceptions because if you are really, really good, if you are able to maintain um, uh, a rating of 9.5 and above, they may invite you as early as, you know, a few weeks or right. a month. Right. <laughs> so. I hope you don't mind. <laughs> All right. <laughs> but what is OUP? So OUP, is, uh, it stands for Oxford University Press. Okay. okay. So this is kind of like a special, a special program that Tutor ABC um, is offering. It's very, very new, okay. and the classes are linear, mm -hmm. meaning it's you know, um, it's basically like you go, you start from like level one, and then you have a set of. Um, um, I think like let, I think it's let's go and then this this cover. Mm -hmm. So it's like a set of like different levels, different units. So okay. it's linear. 
Okay. So it builds up on top of each other. Okay. Um, now, for you to be able to get OUP, you should be uh, you should be um, done with your probation. Okay. So that's usually three months. Uh, three months. Yeah. OUP. We have different types of classes for OUP. Okay. So we have OUP one on one. Okay. Okay. So OUP one on one is pretty similar to SJ one on one. Okay. Okay. Now we also have OUP one on two. Okay, which means, you know, you, you, you know, you're the consultant and you have two students, which, you know, you can talk to them. Um, you know, you can, I don't know if you can actually see them because I've never had one and two. Mm -hmm. Um, but you may not be able to see them, but you can talk to them so they can answer you back, um, and stuff like that. And then you also have the OUP lectures. Okay. Okay. So this is, this is, uh, this is the OUP group. Okay. So if you have uh, if you have the lectures, you're gonna see it as OUP group. Now the OUP group is pretty similar to special sessions, but it's you know it uh, uh, it's like a smaller it's like a smaller lecture session mm -hmm. because you only have sometimes you have one to five students, sometimes you have like five to eight. So far, the most I've had um, in a classroom is eight. Okay. But it goes up to it goes up to fifty or whatever. But I've never had that class before because OUP is really really new. Sure. Now OUP lectures again, you, uh, it's pretty similar to special sessions. You cannot talk to the students; they can only communicate to you um, through the chat box. Okay. So you can talk to them; they can hear you, but um, you can't really hear them. They can just communicate via chat box. So you have Which to be, is pretty similar to special sessions. You have to be pretty good at continuously talking then when you're doing these. Pretty sessions. much. It's almost <laughs> like a Facebook Live. Think about right. Facebook Live. That's how right. that's how it feels. That's how that's how the format is like. So basically you have um you have the lesson. Mm -hmm. So you have to teach them the lesson. And for you to be able to elicit a response, you you should be able to kind of um you know ask questions and then make it simple. So for example, instead of looking for a full sentence, you could kind of put like numbers or letters oh. for them to, to choose from. Okay. So it's easier. Okay, okay. Very interesting. So, now, are these OUP lessons, are they, you said they're linear, so uh -huh. there's, you know, an order to them, but then are they as long or short as, like, the regular? 25 minutes. Okay. Mm -hmm, 25 and minutes. How many slides are on them, usually? It depends. It depends on what type of um of level okay. or what type of unit. Like, if it's, um, but basically, like, you probably would get, like, 18 you know, up to 18, like 13 to 18 pages. Okay. All so right. it usually like at the bottom, at the, at the bottom of each slide, normally it tells you um, like instructions on how to teach a specific oh. slide and how much time you want to spend on that specific slide. Oh, that's nice. So it's, that's a you know, lot different. Cool. A lot mm -hmm. different than the regular 45 or the... Exactly. It tells you exactly how to teach the material. Oh. I mean, again, you can you can tweak you can tweak um, the way you teach the specific slide depending on the student's level and depending on the student's um, personality, depending on the student's age. Sure. You can tweak. You can tweak it. But it tells you how much time you need to spend for that specific slide in order for you to get everything in within 25 minutes. Okay. So... That's nice. So, anything else we want to add before we move on to the special sessions? Um, I think that's pretty much pretty much it. Okay. <laughs> I hope you don't mind. All right, so special sessions. This is sounds like a crazy chaotic <laughs> class. How does it work? <laughs> um. Okay, so special sessions. I I mentioned earlier about the uh, OUP lecture. Yeah. Now it's pretty similar to OUP lecture, but of course you're gonna have different um different lessons. Yes. So the lessons are actually pretty similar to those um you know to those adult adult um classes. Sure. The, the materials that you get for the um Reg forty five classes. Um, for special ses uh, sessions, you have the ten minute. Uh, special sessions mm -hmm. you have the 20 minute special sessions which i i've never had um the 10 minute ones and the 20 minute ones you have the 25 minute special sessions and the 45 minute um special sessions oh, okay 
Okay. Uh, I usually get the 45 minute special sessions. I also get the 25 minute ones. I really, really like the 45 minute um, special sessions because of course the pay is higher. You do get more students. Normally I would get um, like 120 students or more. Okay. So it's a lecture session. You can talk, but you can't hear them. Right. They can only communicate with you um, through the chat box. And you have to be quick on your feet with that chat you box. You have to be very, very quick because some of them, they get, they get you know, pissed off if you don't answer their <laughs> questions. Okay. So you have to make sure that you're really looking at the messages. Again, it's almost like Facebook Live, but you have to make sure that you're reading each and every single message. Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> How do you talk? Are you like... Uh, typing and then like looking at the screen and yeah, teaching I'm, and like I'm multitasking. <laughs> I'm multitasking. I have to make sure that I'm looking at the messages in the chat box while I'm reading the material. Okay. So now, when you're typing the messages, are you pausing for a second while you type it, or are you still speaking to the class? I'm speaking at the same time, so I'm okay. typing and speaking and then reading the messages at the same time. I mean, I try to kind of like break it up. Like sometimes yeah. I would. I would read the material and then I give them an opportunity to ask questions. Okay. Now, some of them sometimes, you know, some of them would just type up questions while I'm reading the material. So I would kind of like look and say, okay, I'll answer your question um, after, after this. Okay. And then I would read, I would read the question and then, and then I would, I would answer. Sure. So, so you, you're saying the majority of your pay comes from the special sessions? The bulk of the pay, yeah. Okay. And, comes from special sessions. And why are those so great to have? Um, okay. So let's talk about the pay. Now, yes. um, all the consultants from all over the world, we have different base rates. So okay. I'm just going to talk about the multiplier. Okay. Okay. So the multiplier for 45 um, minute sessions for special sessions um, is really high. So it depends on your rating. First of all, it de depends on the rating. It also depends on the number of participants okay. um, in your session. So if, if, let's say, for example, you have a 45-minute special session class, right? If your rating is 9.51 and up, and then if you have um, 81 students, that's the max, 81 and up, the multiplier is 6.25. So that's BR times 6.25. That's how much you're going to make. Right, right. It's nice. <laughs> so normally for a special session, for a 45-minute special session, you'd normally get the max. Okay. Depending on how popular you are, but I've been doing this for uh, for two months, and I always get the, the maximum amount of students. Wow. Okay. So. And what is, what's the max? Um, well, the maximum, well, actually, there's no maximum. <laughs> I shouldn't say that. there's no maximum that oh. you can get, you can get up to 200. But once you get to, um, once you get to 81 students, oh. you're going to get the max multiplier. Oh, I see so what you can, you're saying. You can still, you can still get more, uh, more students. So you can get up to 200. Sure, sure, sure. Okay. So. Okay. Wow. But it's so, it's a lot of money. And, 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 and again, you don't really feel, even if you have like 250, um, students in a special session class, you don't really feel it because yeah. there's only going to be a handful of people who yeah. would send you messages or who would ask questions. Okay. All right. So you yeah. could see, and you could also see, um, how many participants actually attended the class. Okay. So interesting. <laughs> so sometimes not all of them attend the class. Sure. So. Yeah. Like any other class. Exactly. But still, you'd get the maximum multiplier. You still, no matter what, even if they don't show no up. No matter what, yes. Okay. Now, for uh, for the 25-minute special sessions, it's 75% BR, and then it's the same multiplier. So, for example, um, for example, in a 25-minute uh, special session, you have um, 81 students, okay? If, if, let's say, for example, your rating is 9.51 and up, mm -hmm. so that's 75% of your base rate multiplied by 6.25. However, it's very rare to get um, more than 81 students in a, in a 25 minute class oh, okay. Okay. because they prefer, they prefer to, um, to attend the 45 minute special session sure. class. Yeah, that makes so, sense. That makes but sense. still, you would get back to back uh, 25, 25 minute uh, SS classes. So still pretty good. Yeah, definitely. And it's less, it's less stressful. Yeah, <laughs> I can imagine. I would be interested in teaching those classes for sure. Um, okay, so 
anything else we should touch on? Um, I mean, I know about LVP. I, I actually know. <laughs> I don't. I don't really know a lot about LVP. But <laughs> all right. But L LVP it's basically for a demo. It's like a oh, level yeah. um placement. Yeah, yeah. It's a level placement. Um, I don't do demos, but um, I don't some do consultants. Demos but some consultants really love doing demos. Mm -hmm. Some hate it, but some love doing demos because I guess you know for them it's it's lucrative. Right. Um, right. But it's fifty. I think it's fifteen minutes. Fifteen yeah. minutes per per demo. Okay. So you can get in three demos in in one hour. Okay, got it. So, uh, are you ready to go over the <laughs> abbreviations, the labels that Tutor ABC has? <laughs> yes. Okay. So, when I say K, you say Kinder. K. Kinder. <laughs> when I say J, you say Japan. J. Japan. When I say N, you say New. N. New. <laughs> When I say N1, you say new first class. New, new first class. <laughs> awesome job. High five. High five. <laughs> oh. When, <laughs> when I say ERR, you say empty room robot. ERR. Empty room robot. <laughs> All right. Nice. <laughs> All right. Did we miss any important labels or any classes that we want to talk about? I think these are like the most important things that um, that a newbie must know. Yes. Especially the Reg 45 because they're going to start with Reg 45. Yeah. You know, and then of course K, J, N, N1, E, R, R. Okay. Especially E, R, R. I know. Everyone's like, what is this? So, okay, let's talk a little bit about E, R, R because there's a little bit more to it than Empty Room Robot. And they just changed it on us. So can, do you want to explain a little bit about what it is, what it means, what to be prepared for? I mean, basically, um, basically they can change E, R, R to a live class. Yep. Um, I believe, like, they can change it um, a minute before or even at the same exact time. That the class um, should start. They can change it to a live class, to an emergency class. Yes. So you're kind of like a you're kind of like a standby consultant. Yes, exactly. You have to wait. You have to keep on refreshing, right. and then you have to wait for um, a scheduler or you know, like the, for the tutor chat to yes. send you a pop up. This is where Just tutor say. chat is so important, and if you don't have <laughs> tutor chat, download it. I don't like. I only found out about tutor chat on our group and somebody said something and I, no I had posted I'm like I missed a class you guys and I didn't even know that I had it scheduled and I think you or someone else had said oh you right. have tutor chat I'm mm -hmm. like what's tutor chat I don't know how I missed the memo on that but whatever but now I have, I have it. it in my phone too yeah I have it in my cell phone yeah I saw your thing I downloaded it so we can help we can post like our groups and uh, show them that post. Um, but anyway, so now I have the tutor chat and I had an ERR and it, lo and behold, they switched it to a live class and I, I made yes. it. I did not have another missed absence. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, no, I can't have an absence. <laughs> so, I actually don't like the update too much. I, I really like the old tutor, uh, tutor chat. What's the old one? Oh, so you never seen the old one? Well, no. it's 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 just much nicer because you you could kind of see who you're who you're speaking with. Oh. It tells you like the name of the scheduler, the email address. Because right now it's like it's kind of like a general, you know, scheduler and then PMIT. So like when you click the button, you know, it it's assigned to like any scheduler. So it just pops up and then it would say scheduler thirteen. Oh, but you don't okay. you don't necessarily know who you're contacting. Right. Because before it tells you who you're speaking with. Oh, okay. So right. that makes sense. Now it's just like all these different lists. I, it's, a, I, it's a general, you know? Yeah, I haven't talked. I haven't on even, it. Pardon? So you click on it and then it gets assigned to any scheduler or any yeah. PMIT. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I haven't even talked to anyone on there. I just got the little ding. Like oh. <laughs> that's that you're, you've been rescheduled. Go exit out of your class and join this one. So like, okay. <laughs> Actually, um, I, I, I'm actually lucky because so far, 
most of my ERRs haven't been switched. And the reason being is because I have a lot of super juniors. Yeah. So sometimes I would get like a, a cancellation, but it's like for a 25 minute class. Right. So the only thing they could switch it to is a Reg 25 or another SJ right. session, which you don't get that often. often. Right. So, so okay. far I'm enjoying the ERR. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> so far. So, so when you get an ERR, you have to still go in that classroom, right? Honestly, I don't I don't go in the classroom. Okay. If I get an ERR, I just keep refreshing because the reason why is because a lot of consultants have been saying that they go in the ERR session. Okay. And then when, when they get a pop-up, they have to exit out and then they have to enter the session. They have to keep on refreshing, enter the session, review the material, and some of them they get kicked out. Right. Because it takes a while. It takes a while for you to exit out from a session. Right. And okay. then what happens is when they get assigned to a, a live class, um, even if, even if let's say, for example, you have like a minute left, it okay. automatically switches you. Right. Okay. Then you get an absence. Okay. Okay. Good That's to know. That's the reason why I don't even, I don't even go in. I don't okay. even log in. Okay. I just keep refreshing and wait for the pop-up. Right. Good tip. Okay. Good to know. Yeah, because I've seen other people post about that, that they got mm -hmm. they got the alert and then they missed it. I'm like, wow. Yeah, because it takes a while to exit out from a, a live, uh, from, from a session. Right. Yeah, for sure. And, and then, then by, then by the time you, you're out. and all that, yeah. Mm -hmm, by the time you're out, the system automatically switches you. Okay. And then boom, you get an absence. All right. All right, so... I think we're through with talking about all of our abbreviations at Tutor ABC. Mm -hmm. I really appreciate all of your help, your advice, and expertise here. Oh so, my gosh! <laughs> <laughs> it's a pleasure to have you today, and we'll see you again, I hope. Yes, of course, and thank you so much for having me. I really appreciate it. Yeah, that. it's been fun talking to you. You yes. too! <laughs> Alrighty! <laughs>